Page 668, number 63. Find the vertex, focus, and directrix of the parabola and sketch its graph. And we know this equation is for a parabola because our y value is squared. We don't have an x squared. Okay, first of all, let's complete the square here. I'm going to write y squared plus 6y and then leave a blank. And I'm going to move that 8x and that 25 over to the right-hand side. So we'll say equals negative 8x minus 25. Now, since I have one y squared, I can complete the square by looking at this number in front of my y term, taking half of that value and squaring it. So half of 6 is 3. When I square that, I get 9. And to keep things balanced, I'm going to add 9 to this right-hand side as well. Now, these three terms can be factored as y plus 3 times y plus 3, or y plus 3 squared equals these two terms can be combined, so I can write this as negative 8x minus 16. Now let's just get this x by itself. So if I solve for x, I can add 16 to both sides. That will give me y plus 3 quantity squared plus 16 equals negative 8x. And now if I divide every single set of terms by negative 8, that gives me and I'll change my order here, x equals, and I'll write this negative 1 eighth times y plus 3 quantity squared minus 2. So there's my equation in standard form. Okay, let's start with the vertex. To get my vertex, I can look at this number here in parentheses and this number out front. Careful, it's the y in parentheses this time, so my vertex is negative 2 comma negative 3. And I'll go to my graph and I'll put that point right away. Now, since it's x equals y squared, I know this is going to open either to the left or to the right. And since there's a negative value here, I know this parabola is going to open to the left. That's going to help me when I find my focus and even when I find my directrix. First of all, our focus. Well, to find our focus, there's a formula we can use that looks like this. Um, a equals 1 over 4 p. Well, a is this number right here. p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So let's plug a in here. Negative 1 eighth equals 1 over 4 p. Well, that tells me that negative 8 is equal to 4 p. Or I can go one step further and say p is equal to negative 2. That means our focus is two units to the left of our vertex. So here's our focus. And that point there is negative 4 comma negative 3. Our directrix is going to be aligned two units in the other direction. So if I go two units in the other direction, here's my directrix. It's going to be this vertical line right at the y-axis. Well, since it's a vertical line, the equation is x equals some number. And since it goes through the x-axis at 0, it's x equals 0. So the equation of my parabola, if I sketch a graph of it, it looks something like this. So my vertex, my focus, my directrix, and my graph of this parabola.